Hey you guys, how's it going? I'm out here today. I have an estate sale I really want to go to and some thrift stores. I had some family stuff this morning, so I could not get out this morning super early, but there is an estate sale happening a little bit later that I'm excited to try. So we're going to go check it out, see if I can find anything good. I do have a goal to get at least $1,000 in profit today. So in the next few hours that I have, I'm going to see if I can accomplish just that. And I want to take you guys along. So please join me. Hopefully I make it a successful Saturday, but win or lose, I am taking you along for the ride. Right away I headed over to the jeans section and I found some People for Peace. I had never purchased these before, but when I looked up comps, I saw some pretty good ones, so I did pick them up. I actually found a few pairs of this brand and they were in brand new condition, so I guess I'm taking a little bit of a gamble, but I hope they work out. Luckily, right after that I found some Seven Dojos. These have the rivets on the back, so they go for a little bit more. This thrift store has increased their prices recently, which is kind of annoying, but I figured $10 into hopefully 40 is well worth it. Again, they raise their prices on things like new with tags, American Eagle, which I would have picked up at a better price, but did leave it behind. This is, like I said, the People for Peace jeans that had multiple styles and I was a little bit overwhelmed. I'm like, I don't know if this brand will even sell for me. So I picked up two pairs, but I did leave the third behind because it did have a little bit more wear and tear than the other two. I always like finding Rock Revival. These were priced at $15, but they are the straight leg and this particular style does okay for me. So if I can pick it up for 15 and turn it into 45 or 50, I do feel like it's worth the risk only because I've sold so many pairs of Rock Revival in the past and they just are a very consistent seller. I found these Miss Me jeans at a slightly lower price, but they don't have like the embellished bling pocket, which is kind of what I'm looking for. And they're in a smaller size, um, so I did end up passing on these. I spotted these Sorel sneakers. These are the kinetic lace up. They are like a wool fiber blend and these tend to sell for a lot of money. So I did grab them. I will be cleaning them up at home, but I think it'll be a pretty good flip. Other than that, the shoe section was pretty dry. So I didn't find really anything else over there. I'm definitely cooling on the anthropology brands. Um, this is a Sparrow cardigan, but comps looked okay for this particular style. It's really unique and in good condition. So I went ahead and I grabbed it. This Harley Davidson sweater, however, even though it was new with tags, it was priced at $20, which is just way too high for something that's not like a cool jacket. This is a new with tags Mizook sweater, or no, not sweater, like more of a pullover half zip. And the retail price is $143. I've sold this brand many times before, hoping to get anywhere from $40 to $50 for that. I spotted these Lululemon Dance Studio pants. I looked for the logo on the zipper and then on the side. These tend to sell really well for me. I've sold this exact style in the past for around $42, $45, and they were only $4. So this is one of the things that wasn't marked up too high at this thrift today. A good find, I was really excited to find these. This is a brand called Joe Fit, and they make golf apparel, activewear apparel. The only other time I've ever found this brand, it sold really quickly. So I figured something that was brand new with tags would sell pretty well. So I'm hoping to get around 30 bucks for that. This is a new with tags Zaya Active Men's Pullover, a definite pickup for six bucks. These are some remix by Rock Revival intentionally distressed paint splatter jeans in basically new condition, really good size. Picked these up for Again, a little bit of a pricier price tag than normal, but I do hope to sell them for around 60 to 70. Okay, thrift number one is complete. I found some good stuff. Um, I found those good jeans. I mean, the prices were a little high. I was pretty particular with what I picked up and I think I will still, you know, make a pretty good profit on everything. And one or two of those items will sell for what I paid for everything. So yeah, I don't know why I found so many like new jeans. I think someone was like liquidating maybe their online store or, maybe I don't know like I'd like to hear the story behind that but I'm hungry and I really have to go to the bathroom that is being eight months pregnant for you like I'm not used to being on my feet this long I'm always hungry and I swear I have to always go to the bathroom that's probably TMI anyway I'm gonna go do that get a snack and then it's time to head up to that estate sale and 
crossing my fingers it is good and not a bust. Okay, these days still hadn't started yet, so I'm actually at another of my favorite thrifts. And I'm going to pop in there and see if I can find anything in a few minutes and then head over to that estate sale. So I'll let you know how it goes. Right off the bat, I found these Gymshark leggings. These are the Vital Seamless leggings. I've sold this before in new condition. These are pre-owned, of course but I'm hoping to get anywhere from $35 to $40 for them. Um, a really good find for sure off the bat. Oops. <laughs> then I spotted these mother jeans and you can look on the interior tag here to see what style. These are the Looker Ankle Fray. Really cool color. I'm going to sell those mother jeans for like 40 to 50. And then I found this Supreme sweater. I got a little excited until I looked closely. It was almost cool enough just to pick up for myself, but I passed. <laughs> What was really exciting at this thrift were a bunch of Scentsies that they had brand new in the box. Um, I picked up the ones that looked to be the most lucrative as far as what they'd sell for, but I'm really excited to get these home and list them. So I got lucky because all the jeans were just $4, which is great. Um, I saved a lot of money there. The Scentsies I did pay up a little bit for, but I had a discount and I had 10% off. So. I think it's worth it because I picked ones that specifically would sell for a lot more. The Frozen 2 one especially, I think that goes for like $85, something crazy. I've sold a bunch of Scentsies in the past, so uh, when I saw them I got really excited. But now I'm a little late to the state, so, but let's see what I can find and then I'm going to head home because I am beat. <laughs> Right off the bat, I was a little discouraged. I mean, you never know what you can find, but I think I was kind of victim of false advertising in this case. Lots of very standard basic things. Not The prices were fine, but there was really nothing super exciting. Like this Columbia jacket might have been pretty good, but they priced it at $15 and it had quite a bit of wear on it. Actually, more so than I would even pick up normally. Again, not a lot of name brands, not a lot of things that I would just normally pick up. Maybe if I were a more eclectic seller, I would find more stuff. I always stop off in the office portion of whatever estate sale I'm at because I'm looking for easy things like printer ink, desktop scanners, things that I know sell really well, but unfortunately there was nothing like that here. And then as you can see, like just not a lot of the things that I personally normally pick up. There was a Dyson vacuum, it looked pretty worn. If this were back a year ago, that pull-up bar would have sold for around $100, but unfortunately we are not at that point anymore. This little Delta pet carrier could have been okay, but it had a lot of animal fur and dander on it, so I did pass, and plus comps weren't high enough to really entice me that much to clean it. And then I saw this and got instantly creepy vibes, so that was fun. These TI-83 calculators, this is like a TI-83 Plus. They used to sell for a lot of money. Comps are around $30 to $40 for something that's used and working well. This wouldn't even turn on, so that's why I passed on it. And then again with the shoes, those are some Sensies that are used. I don't pick those up just because they are really hard to clean. And then outside I saw a few things in baby clothes. Again, I didn't see a lot of things standing out that I normally pick up, that yokai watch medallion thing. I, I looked up comps and they're only about $10, $11 for something new. So I passed that aquarium thing behind it. Again, comps weren't great. That Bragg Polar Care was the one exciting find from this garage sale or estate sale. Okay, so now I'm home. I have cleaned, steamed, and taken the tags off. And I have three Scentsies here. And I really think this strawberry basket one I'm seeing comps anywhere from $40 to $50. And then we've got this Hello Fall Scentsy, and the good one is the Frozen 2 Scentsy. I'm thinking these all might sell for close to $200, including shipping, so we'll see about that. But I've sold Joe Fit before in the past, um, and it sold really fast, and this is brand new with tags. So excited to see that go, maybe 40 bucks there. This Zaya Active is also brand new with tags. It was only $6. Zaya is a, it's an MLM that is an activewear brand. And every time I've sold it, it's sold really quickly. So this one being new with tags and extra large and men's, we will see how it sells, but I'm hoping to get, you know, I try to make estimations, maybe 40, 50 bucks on that one. These are the dojos, they're in brand new condition. And these were among the other brand new items, the brand new jeans that I found at the first thrift stop. But I'm hoping to get 40 to 50 for these. And then these are, I have two pairs of these, People for Peace. 
and I'm gonna see how these sell for me. Comps are pretty decent, but I'm hoping with these being in pretty new condition, I can get close to 40 for them. Same with the Rock Revivals that I got. These do tend to sell well for me still. These are the Adele Straight. Yeah, I'm hoping to get around 50 for these. This is a Ming Wang, and I had a nice surprise when I got home. It is brand new with tags. It's a knit jacket. I've never sold Ming Wang before, but comps look really good. I'm hoping to sell this for at least $50 or $60. These are the Lululemon Dance Studio Pants. I believe they're the Dance Studio Pants. I need to look up exactly what they are, but I recognize them by, like you can see right under there, there's the Lululemon symbol. So that's how I saw them when I, that's my, that was my first check and then I saw the label there. So these do tend to sell for around $40 for me at the very least. Exciting for sure. These mother jeans, these are the mother and this is right inside what the style is. These are the looker ankle fray and the color is out of the box. It's like a very bleached white. I don't see exact comps for this color, but I am really hopeful that these will sell for $60 to $80. We will see. Mother has sold really well for me in the past, especially when it is a unique color. G-Star Raw Men's tends to sell well for me. These are the 3D Tapered, and they're in excellent condition. Hoping to sell these for around $50. These are the Rag & Bone Standard Issue Men's Jeans. I have sold these in the past and I believe they sold for $40 to $50, so that's what I'm hoping for these. These are some Fry jeans. I've never seen Fry jeans before. I've only seen Fry purses and shoes and boots. So I don't know how much these will go for, maybe 30 bucks. I've never sold them, but we will see. Fry is, of course, a high-end brand. You can see more Rock Revival here, two more pairs. Again, these were $4 with the denim sale that was going on at that thrift, which was great. I love picking up Rock Revival. Again, 40 to 50 for each of those. These are just some very standard Madewell jeans. Uh, Madewell doesn't sell very well for me anymore, but for the $4 sale, I could not resist, hoping to sell these for around 25 to 30. And some Miss Me's. Again, Miss Me isn't selling as well as it did once at one point, but they still sell well. I would say 30 to 35 for these. And again, these were four bucks. These are some AG men's jeans, AG Arnold Goldschmied men's jeans. These are the Everett Slim Straight. I love selling AG. I'm hoping these will sell for 30 to 40 for me. These are the Gym Shark. I think these are called the Vital Seamless Leggings. And the last time I sold these, they sold for, I wanna say $40. So somewhere like that for those. Wild Fox I haven't found in a really long time. They make these really buttery soft sweaters. Um, you know, I'm not sure what comps will be for this. I'm hoping maybe 25 to 30. This is a very basic Ariat blouse. It's only $1. So I did pick it up, but I maybe shouldn't have. It's probably just gonna sell for 10 to 15. And then we've got Mountain Hardware. This is a long fleece sweater. I do like selling Mountain Hardware, especially when it's like the sweaters, the quilted sweaters, the jackets, they sell really well. These are remixed by Rock Revival. These are in brand new condition. They are distressed paint splatter jeans. And I think these will sell great. I'm hoping they'll sell for 60 to 70 actually, because they're in a really different colorway. They're more recent. They're in new condition and <laughs> they're in a really good size. They're in a size 30. I think they're the slouchy jeans. I don't know, I'm gonna have to look these up, but hoping to get 60 to 70 for those. We love selling Mizook. Mizook? Hopefully I'm saying that right. Misuk, I, I don't know, I've sold this a ton of times before. It is also brand new with tags somehow. Retails for 143 and this is like a blouse. Um, I'm gonna have to look up exactly what the comps are, but you know, with it being so pricey, I'm hoping I can get around $50 for it. This is a Sparrow Anthropology sweater and I picked it up because it is so unique and in really good condition actually. <laughs> Sparrow can be a little hit or miss. Anthropology actually has been a little bit more hit or miss lately. But with this being unique, 100% wool, I don't know. We're gonna see what it fetches. Hopefully, I don't know, 30 bucks. This is that other pair of People for Peace. I, you know, they had another pair. I only picked up two because I've not picked up this brand before. So I didn't wanna pick up a bunch and then let it just sit. But comps do look good enough that I'm fairly confident it will sell uh, reasonably well. So, and then last but not least, I clean these up. These are the Sorel. 
These are like some Sorel lace-up sneakers and they're in really good condition. They were dirty at the thrift, but I cleaned them up pretty well. I'm probably gonna have to go back and wipe them down just one more time. But I think they're called the lace-up kinetic sneakers. These should sell for $52.60. Okay guys, that just about does it for me today. I went through all my stuff. Did I hit my goal of $1,000 this morning? I think so. I think I'm about there. If I'm not, I'm just shy of it. And that's pretty good for an afternoon, right? I mean, of course this does have to sell and you really can't control how fast things sell, especially clothing. I love having a profit goal because as long as I have those consistently and I list consistently, then those profits will be realized. Clothing can move a little bit more slowly than everything else, but I always love when I find some decent profits and these are some higher end things. So I'm hoping that they move relatively quickly for me, but I appreciate you guys tagging along today. Thank you so much. And it was a lot of fun. Let's see how many times we can do this until, until baby comes. Uh, hopefully I can keep going and keep thrifting, but I'll probably continue to slow down with that a little bit until this baby comes because it's uh we're getting close guys this is like the home stretch and i'm not sure i'm ready but anyway thank you again i appreciate you don't forget to like subscribe all that good stuff to my channel it really helps me a lot especially if you appreciate it and you like this type of video liking the video helps tell me that you want more of these kinds of videos so please don't forget to do that thanks again you guys i appreciate you take care and i will catch you next time